In a historic first, weapons manufacturer Remington Arms has agreed to settle liability claims from families of victims who were killed in the 2012 Sandy Hook Elementary School massacre, which resulted in the death of 26 people. The company will now pay nine families a total of $73 million, the first time a gun manufacturer has been held to account for a mass shooting in the United States. An attorney for the family said at a press conference earlier that this victory should serve as a wake-up call, not only to the gun industry, but also the insurance and banking companies that prop it up. Let's bring in host and legal analyst at Law & Crime Network, Terry Austin, joining us now with her expertise. Terry, we know that Remington was the manufacturer uh, of the Bushmaster AR-15 style rifle that was used in the massacre. What kind of precedent do you think this settlement will establish moving forward? I think one of the things it will do is to have manufacturers now take very seriously how they sell and market their guns. They were sued because they negligently entrusted these guns to civilians. These are military style weapons and they market it to these civilians. And I think in the future we are going to see other gun manufacturers be very careful about how they market these guns. So what about other mass shootings that have occurred, can those victims now pursue damages? Does this set a precedent? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. I think they will do that. And in fact, I'm hoping that we see that. We haven't seen gun control or common sense gun control take any hold in the United States. We've tried to have bans on assault weapons. We've tried to have background checks, but we don't have any sort of massive gun legislation to make a difference. I think now that the money is being sort of said to manufacturers, you are going to have to be financially responsible for this. I think we are going to see a difference. And I think some of these other mass shootings are going to have the families sue because of the fact that these gun manufacturers just didn't really care who they sold their guns to. So it could finally make a difference. You know, we've had 350 mass shootings now in schools, basically, since Sandy Hook. And hopefully we will ultimately see a slowdown or a stop in these mass shootings. Yeah, we can. That's what we all hope for. Um, also, the Supreme Court, you know, they allowed this lawsuit to proceed against the company in 2019. What laws are currently in place that protect gun manufacturers from these kinds of lawsuits? Well, there is a 2005 law in place right now that does protect gun manufacturers. It's called the Protection of Lawful Commerce Act. And the point is, if you sell a gun and someone takes that gun and suits someone, you should not be held liable for that. And so it makes sense unless there are certain limited circumstances, like, for instance, if the gun has a defect. So there was this broad immunity, and that's why these manufacturers did not feel responsible. But the angle that this lawsuit took, I think, was very innovative, saying that it was marketed improperly. And so hopefully this act that protected the manufacturers will now be limited in the future, and we would be able to see the types of lawsuit that we saw in the Remington case. So talk to us some more about the kind of immediate impact that we'll be able to see just in daily operations um, for these gun manufacturers. Literally, I think when the gun manufacturers are selling to the distributors, they are going to think twice about where the distributors are selling and to whom they are selling these guns. So for instance, okay. the gun in this the case was sold to the mother of the individual who went into the school. And so my belief is she will not be able to buy a gun or at least she will be looked at as to why is she buying this gun? What is the purpose of the gun? And hopefully these background checks will go much deeper into the purpose of the gun. You should not have a semi-automatic gun, say for instance, if you're going hunting, which is a legitimate use. So hopefully it'll stringent make it much more difficult for individuals to buy these types of guns. All right, Terry Austin, appreciate your insight and joining us today. Always good to talk to you, Terry. Thank you, Kira, you too.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.